Salesforce for the construction industry allows us to extend the project perspective to our customers, the way that we manage the jobs, questions that they have about the jobs, and the ability for them to ask questions and engage both the contractor team as well as the construction organization or the facilities organization. So as we can see, once we come to the portal, we're greeted with a search bar and a prompt, how can we help you? So let's say right away, I want to search for my particular project that's going on. So I'm going to put in, you know, I put building maintenance and I can see I've got my project showing up right away. And through this, I'm going to see a few things. So first I'm going to be able to automatically see this schedule that's being created here. So if I go to the particular day, and we come down to, let me see, yep, there we go. So from here, I can see everything that's been completed, what's overdue, and what needs to be done. So I'm not going to be able to control this, but I can see it, and I can ask questions related to any particular task. And so if I come down here under related, I'm able to see all the task groupings, then the task team and those tasks themselves. So I can understand when they're estimated to be completed and I can communicate with the contractor teams through that. And I can also understand who on each queue, each particular group task, what needs to be completed and who to reach out to. So if I then go back home and I scroll down, I can see some content that's being surfaced from Salesforce CMS. It can also be surfaced from Adobe Experience Manager or Drupal or Sitecore, really the content management system of your choice. And then we have a very collaborative community. So we have the ability to ask questions and get responses from other customers or contractors or the construction organization itself. And then again, what we just saw, if I don't want to search for it, I can see my projects, their status, information that's overdue, tasks that are overdue, and the time it will take to complete. If I'm going to extend service capabilities, I can give the customer the ability to submit cases or it could be work orders to be able to come on site to make quick fixes in terms of emergencies, um, maintenance, any walkthroughs that need to be scheduled. And I can do all of that through a case, or I can go and create a appointment right away. Through the Lightning Scheduler, I'm able to create a work order and a service appointment through this interface. So I'll select, you know, I'll select mechanical failures. We'll click next. We'll say in a center and all this is driven through Salesforce. There's nothing else that we're looking at right now. Okay. And then this is the facility that I'm going to be doing this fix at. We'll do it at Friday. We'll provide a window. That window will be narrowed as we assign a service resource. And then there's some additional information here we could fill out, but for now we'll just come down here. I'll put in my name. My email and my phone. And then we'll click next. So what this is going to do is this is going to be assigned to a service resource as of right this moment. And we can automate that service resource assignment or we can do it in a more manual, but essentially that's it. And so from end to end, as I'm working through the project, um, as the customer with the contractor and with the construction management firm, we are able to keep on track and address any bottlenecks within the process. So all the way from winning the project, getting alerted to that win, building out that project Gantt schedule, and then going to a completed view of all of my projects 
as a customer, you're able to do all that through the Salesforce platform.